so let's go ahead and write some warm up programs right so let me do some list manipulations let us write a few functions on lists okay what are those let me st first start with finding the minimum element in a list we have done this program already the point is to do the same program again using a new concept that you have learned in python so how do we go about it let me think define let's say the list minimum and then i'll i'll input a list here okay list can also be input right so i'll just show you a small example here define first element if i say define first element in a list l and then i will simply return l of 0 you know and then define a list x as 1 2 3 and then say first element of x will get as 1 okay if you want to write a function called second element and return l of 1 which is the second element that also works as you can see second element of x is 2 right in fact you can return another list in the function right so i just want to show you that function can also take list as an input okay all right now let's get back let me find the minimum of the list l how do we go about it first i'll say minimum I'll, I'll i'll say mini because min happens to be a built in um, function all right so you should not use the you should not say print equals zero because print is used to print uh, you know uh, you know the print command in python right you should not use the built-in command as variables which we have mentioned already but in one of my previous videos i did use min as a variable thankfully did not uh, throw any errors it was probably in third week i don't remember anyway sorry sorry for the digression let me get back and write a piece of code for finding minimum of a list so i'll say my minimum is l of zero okay and then I'll go through a for loop for i in range len of l, uh, right? So what should I do? I'm just thinking, just in case if this minimum is less than is 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 if my I'm sorry if my l of i is less than mini, let's say, which means whatever you have found as minimum, if some entry of l is less than that then you say minimum is that all right so pretty simple and then finally you return mini all right a quick code i didn't even give it a thought but let's see whether it works or not all right so what i'll do is i'll execute it and maybe i should uh, write a uh, one two three four five minus ten six four all right uh, a list and then I should say print list min of L let's see this should pop out minus 10 let's see if it does that yeah perfect it, it, it is giving me minus 10 this function works fine I have just now verified right now similarly I want to define list max okay I'm doing it without a lot of energy that's because you guys know what's happening in fact this should be boring for you maximum again max is a built-in function so i'll say max c which is equal to l of zero i'll call the first element as a maximum and in case i encounter a new element here which is greater than the uh, maximum found so far i'll declare that as maximum i'm not explaining much because we have seen this in the previous weeks in case you're confused you may want to take a look at those lessons if l of i is greater than maximum okay then max c equals l of i okay and then say return max c let's see if it does what it's supposed to do okay so i'll say print list max c of l list max c is not defined list max i say here and then put a max c here so let me also make it max c here right so yes it shows the greatest number here is six in case i were to change this to let's say uh, 100 
this must show 100 as the maximum number perfect everything is going good right so let me write more functions now right um, what what do I write let me think maybe I will define list prefix prefix is a little heavy on the mind um, append before we'll say okay of a list L and Z okay so what do I mean by list append before if you have a list let's say 1 comma 2 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9 and another list Z equals 7 comma 5 comma 50, 51 comma 1 let's say okay I, I want Z to whatever is the entries here to appear here ultimately the answer should be 7 51 1 1 2 7 8 and 9 this is what I mean by append before all right so let's try writing a code for append before how do I go about it it's very easy let me call it a new list and in the new list I'll first append the entries of Z and then entries of L as simple as that being a little fast here that that's how we're going to go in the forthcoming semesters because I'm expecting some maturity from you guys that you have typed and written some code so far right for I in range len of Z okay so what I'll do is new list append Z of I so this will simply append entries of Z into my new L list and after that I write another for loop range length of L and I say new L append and now I'll append entries of L okay so what is happening here you know so I'm used to rather every programmer is used to simply writing they're used to simply writing the code and then trying to check it okay not worrying whether what they did was right or wrong because you will get to know here <laughs> whether you are right or wrong so you have a l here and i i need i need to put a z here z equals let's say uh, 10 20 30 perfect so i'll say print uh, list append before of l comma z what what is this supposed to do it will this function as you know will go and see what is in list append before put list the list l list z here it will go inside and do all these manipulations and then finally return see i did not return it it would return an error message if you don't return something it will not do i mean of course it will not return an error message but it will not do what it's supposed to do okay return new l all right and that's it yeah you see 10 20 30 and then 1 2 3 4 5 minus 10 6 4 and 100 okay perfect so we will now go ahead and write another function define list append before we did we'll do end now okay l comma z the same function so what should what should happen now what should happen don't worry about this error message here so it probably got executed as i was typing this code so what should i do now i probably should copy paste this here right i copy paste this here and then whatever goes in the front should instead be appended at the end this should work let's see if it works or not so i'm executing it with list append and l comma z okay print list append and l comma z and there we are we have six four hundred and then ten twenty thirty it got appended at the end okay so very good so what what is it that you observed you observed that you can indeed manipulate um, the lists by using functions right just a warm-up exercise for you all right so let me just write one more piece of code I'm in the mood for writing more functions <laughs> okay so what will I do let me think so let me write a piece of code to find the average of the entries of a list okay list average of a list L how do I go about it let's see first I must find the sum and then I should divide that by the number of entries in L right pretty simple let me bring this to the center of the screen so that it's clear to you 
also maybe zoom in a bit okay so what i'll do is for i in range l len of l right len of l what i'll do is sum equals sum plus l of i this will return the sum total of the entries in the list and finally i should say answer equals sum divided by length of l this will return my average isn't it that's how you would compute average and um, this was taught to you in your school days i think if i'm right this is the formula for average then i'll say return answer that's it so what, what i'll now do is try to print this for a list okay so all these things maybe i can remove it now remove it remove it not required so we have checked these functions these functions will still be there if you want you can use them anytime you want but i now want to check if i can find the average of the entries of a list okay so let me scroll down and then try to write a list here okay my list l is equal to let's say 1 comma 7 comma 8 comma 10 okay so what's the sum of this 10 plus 8 is 18 plus 7 is 25 plus 1 is 26 26 by 4 whatever that is okay so print list average of l Now let's see what this comes out to be 6.5 is that really 1 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 What is that? Twenty-six divided by four, six point five. Perfect. So my answer is indeed right. So I have written list average. You can go ahead and write more functions. The best part now is the following. I'll remove this. Keep observing. I'll execute this. Once I execute this, this entire thing goes and sits in your memory. Okay? It sits in your memory. Let me just scroll this down. just so that you can see it clearly it goes and sits in your memory and you can happily use them here use them here just observe so i would like to use the list maxi function okay so simply say list maxi function of a list whatever you can either type here or declare the minus 1 10 6 minus 2 close and close it will give you 10 You see, this gets loaded to your memory, and you have now authored a function, right? Isn't that awesome, right? So you can go ahead and write your own functions, and they will work like magic here. The moment you you call the function, you put the name here, it will show you the output either here or here itself. You can print them. right this is called modular approach to programming where you very patiently very slowly okay you break your problem into smaller pieces and write the pieces as functions and finally stitch them together and you will get a final program so what do i mean by that by that i mean print enter a list okay and you can take the list from the user here and then you can ask him what you need to do you find you to find the average of the list or find the minimum in the list or maximum in the list based on that you can call the functions and then do it here in fact your life becomes very easy because you need not write all this code here all right i'm not writing the code right now i should go ahead with the next uh, 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 um, program but i'm just giving you a quick illustration you can write the entire code here and eliminate the requirement for functions or write down the functions here and call them whenever you want all right that will be a easier way to write a piece of code you will see the power of this in our forthcoming programs now